liquid do not have any fixed linear or surface dimensions. It acquires the shape of the containing vessel. When we are heating a liquid, we have to heat it along with its container. When the container is heated, the thermal expansion of liquid does not correspond with that of the container. Hence we have to record the thermal expansion of liquid, relative to the container. Take a flat-bottomed flask having a capillary tube, fixed at its mouth with the help of a cork. Fill this flask with color water such that, the level of water is at P on the scale. Now place, the above flask in a metal trough. Pour water in the trough and heat, till it starts boiling. Observe carefully the level of water in the capillary tube. You will notice the level of water falls to Q. After some time, the water levels start rising. It not only reach P, but it also move further up to R. Now we have to deduce the reason behind it. As we heat the flask, it absorbed heat and expands suddenly. However water takes time to expand, as it is a bad conductor of heat. So the level of liquid drops initially from P to Q. After some time, liquid starts gaining heat, it expand more than the vessel. Hence, its level in the capillary tube rises to R. The conclusion of the above experiment are 1. Liquid expands on heating. 2. Liquid expands more than solid. Take two identical flasks containing water and alcohol, such that their level is same. Place these two flasks in a large iron trough and pour water in it. Now heat the water till it boils. You will observe that, the level of alcohol rises more than, that of water. Hence, it proves that different liquids have different coefficients of cubical expansion.